couple of the uh, aluminum air batteries that I'm working on right now. I got them hooked up in series. I just want to see how they're behaving after being prepared. This is after 24 hours and uh, graphite electrode and I have it coated in activated carbon manganese dioxide paste. It was made with mineral oil but I've switched over to a uh, dimethyl uh, siloxane of grease. But in any event, uh, in there is a saturated ammonium chloride electrolyte and I've got the aluminum casings that are prepared for a uh, Dremel tool uh, metal cut aluminum tubing. The casings are a little hard, uh, harder, hardier that way than the uh, baking pans, the aluminum baking pans. So I've got them hooked up. Uh, just quick, quick to uh, in series. And uh, with the two of them, I'm kicking out 2.20 volts. I'll pretty this thing up, but uh, they're holding their potential, which is good. And I will be using that for comparison and then preparing gel electrolytes and various uh, thin film semi-permeable membranes to put the coated graphite uh, inside of. Let's see what kind of a short circuit we get. I'll go to the 200 milliamp scale and uh, we started about 38 milliamps. That's pretty good. And of course we'll make these uniform. I've got one longer than the other. But a uh, proof of concept and I'll probably stack four or five of these together in series and uh, then begin my comparison of various gel electrolyte thin film membranes. I'll keep you posted on what I'm doing. Where are we now? 19. Okay, let's go back to potential. Open circuit. And that's uh, starting to rebound already. So far, so good. I'll keep you posted. I have a uh, gel electrolyte I'm making right now. My intention is to saturate it in aluminum chloride hexahydrate, but the gel will have propylene glycol. It won't have water, so hopefully it won't dry out. And I'm going to have to put some air holes in the aluminum, of course. I've got to get good airflow there. Oxygen, of course, is the oxidant in the cell, and the reductant is the aluminum. And I'm hoping that the aluminum surface does not build up aluminum hydroxide or aluminum oxide, which, of course, uh, would be a problem. Only time will tell. Where are we now? 1.62. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.